All right, guys, we're going to go over the generator options we have here at Camping Adventures. So we have a 2000 and a 3000 uh, generator option, which basically equates to watts. So the 2000, 2000 watts, 3000, 3000 watts. Uh, it's just going to depend on what you are trying to power in the trailer. Um, if you're looking to power the air conditioner or the microwave, then you're going to want to make sure you go ahead with the 3000 option. The 2000 will allow you to charge your batteries and operate the outlets in the trailer. Um, they also have different run times. So the 2000 holds about a one gallon of gas and um, will last you about four to eight hours depending on upon the load you're using. The 3000 holds about three and a half gallons of gas and should run about 10 to 20 hours depending on the load you're requiring of the generator. So let's go ahead and go through the start operation of the 2000 first. So you want to just make sure that the gas cap is pointing to the on position first. Then you're going to come over here to the switch. You're going to turn that to on. You're going to go to the choke lever. Push that forward. You want to make sure that your eco throttle is in the off position. And then you're going to come over here to the string, pull that out till it's just taut, and then give it a nice pull. Once it fires up, you can take your choke switch, bring it back, and now at this point you can go back to your eco throttle and turn it on. And that'll just allow your fuel to last longer and it'll surge when it needs more power. This is where you're going to plug in the cord from the trailer. This is a 30 amp to a 110 adapter. To turn it off, you just turn that switch back to the off position. Okay, now for the 3000, it's very similar to the operation. Gas cap to the on position. The switch position is over here. and also has the choke right into it there, eco throttle off to the string and nice pull now you come back to the choke just switch it to on and you can put your eco throttle back on again 30 amp plug right there for the trailer switch it off Alright guys, there you go.